All right, so the, the development of Green Cross has been very, very good recently. Most updates have been very, very positive. And so I'm not trying to be uh, co like complaining or anything, come across as I'm complaining, but there is something that I think should should change, honestly, that I think would in impact a lot of players and make it better for them, just the game in general. Um, and if you agree, if you could share this around so that the one of of, I don't know, someone that could contact the development team could let them know that this update would be great. I don't, I don't want, I don't need credit for it. I just think that this update would be great. Um, SSR tickets are honestly very, very, very uninteresting. Um, out of the dozens of characters that released in 2021, only five of them are in the SSR ticket pool. These five last characters and two of them are pretty bad, you know? Three of them are pretty good, but two of them are pretty bad. And I think that the SSR, ticket, SSR tickets in general seem to be something that is meant to be viewed as prestigious, but it really isn't. SSR tickets are way, way, way less exciting than SR tickets. And I think a big reason for that is because for whatever reason, they're still treating SSR tickets as if it's part one and part two. Back when SSR tickets were part one and part two, it used to be that season one characters would be on part one, season two characters would be on part two, and eventually they would release a part three, which never happened. They just, you know, mashed both banners together. Um, but right now, it's very arbitrary who goes in the SSR tickets and who doesn't. Because again, only five of the dozens of characters that released last year came here. But you can see the pool, right? Because back in the day, every single character, basically, that was released would come to the SSR tickets. You end up with a lot of old characters. They are, fr like, frankly, unusable these days. Um, and just a few good characters, you know? You got Tarmio, Sario, Green Arthur, very good characters, but a lot of unusable characters. And I think... One huge thing would be to stop treating this banner as a part one, part two, and start treating it as a SSR banner. Because if you come here on this banner, the, you know, race banner, you can see that the Ragnarok characters are here. And I think that that's good. The Ragnarok characters should be in banners because it's not like they are collab, it's not like they are festivals, they are just banner characters. But why are they not in the SSR tickets? It would be much easier for free-to-play players to pull them if they are in the SSR tickets. If they are going to be tickets in, in tickets in general, I don't see why they aren't in the SSR tickets. I say that, you know, for me, it wouldn't make a difference. I will still support the game in a fashion that I max out these characters in the first banner, basically. But if I'm being honest, a big concern for most players is that they can't beat the only real difficult PV activity in the game, not because they're bad at the game, but simply because they just don't have Megalda or they don't have Brynhildr, and these characters are major for the activity. And, you know, it's not like they're giving to us for free or anything. I'm not asking for that. I'm just saying that if the characters were on this banner, they would have a slightly better chance of being pulled, and I think that would be better. So... If they could consider bringing these Ragnarok characters that are already in tickets to the SSR tickets, I don't see why they wouldn't do that. Genuinely, I don't see why. I think it makes total sense. They already lowered the SSR chances for SR tickets. It used to be 12%. They lowered to 6 back in the day. You might as well make all characters in the SSR tickets because it's not bound to any season anymore. I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion, but I think if I think if this update happened, people would be very happy. And you know, again, it's not like you're going to give trust for free. They're gonna, not going to lose much money from that. Uh, but it would make the the player base much happier, and people would stop asking me if they can replace the Megalda with a different character. So.